Hello, hello, hello! Well, two weeks ago, we faced off to see who would get to play against Toraf Zavarin, and I'm happy I did not win, because then when you faced him, he brought you to the cleaners and left you on the drying rack. Yeah, uh, I got absolutely smashed by Toffel last week. Talking about last week, that's where I got my deck from. Not the video, but the comments. Uh, I assume you also picked from the comments? Yes, every week. It's our main source of inspiration for decks. <laughs> We're not that creative. Anyways, speaking just last thing before we go into the match, um, please, if you do like this content, please sub. We're very, very close to this generating enough subs to be worth it to do it twice a week, and it's super, super time intensive. So yeah, yeah, all right, enough of that. Let's get to the game. <laughs> Let's go. So this week I'm trying to defeat Carl using Amulet Titan. You know, playing some Amulet of Vigors, resolving some Primeval Titans, tapping, untapping lands. I'm looking forward to so it. I was tired of losing against Yamen every week. And someone in the comments asked for Urza's Kitchen, which is a tier deck. And I was like, you know what? Let's bring the big guns. Let's win this time. Now, Modern has a way of taking very simple strategies and having a very complicated background to make it work. In this case, we're playing a bunch of discards and artifacts to be able to play a 3-3 on turn one that kills one of their creatures per turn. You know what? That's actually pretty good. So the 3-3 we're speaking of is Asmoranda Maldekarais Tinekildekar. It's a pretty hard word to pronounce, but we're in Germany. All the words are basically like that. We want to play it on turn one or turn two as quickly as possible, and it gets the cookbook. If you discard an Oval Chase Daredevil to the cookbook, it comes back to your hand, meaning you generate food every turn, meaning you get a 3-3 that kills all of their creatures, and you back that up with some artifact synergies. You've got Urza and his Saga, which make artifacts that get bigger and bigger and bigger the more food you have. So the deck is usually around 680 euros, but using the card market shopping wizard, I can get it down to around 500 euros, including shipping. Now this deck is usually about 910 euro without shipping on most websites, but if you use a shopping wizard on card market and choose cheapest first, we find it as low as 734 with the shipping. All right, so I go first? You go first. Good luck. Good luck to you, Carl. I wish you no mulligans. Uh, let's see about that. In the dark, this is a pretty good hand. Keep. It's a tough decision, but I guess, I guess I'll keep. Yeah, me too. All right. So my opening hand has two amulets. That's it. I'm keeping this hand. Off to the races. Um, hope you have your driver's license. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Because I don't know what you're playing, I'm going to do something that's technically correct. Technically correct? That's but the best kind of correct, Carl. Now, I don't know what Yamin is playing, but in the dark right now, if I play my Mishra's Bauble and look at the top card of his library, if it is a fetch land, I can play my Pithing Needle, name the fetch land, and cut it out of his hand. If there's more of that fetch land in his hand, I could just win on the spot. Here. Um, I'm going to play Mishra's Bauble. Yes. I'm going to crack it. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Look at the top card of your library. Yeah. Let's see what you're playing. Right. Do, do you know what I'm playing? <laughs> I know exactly what you're playing. No one else plays this card. Is it is it Misty Rainforest? Um, it's it's not it's not Misty Rainforest. Um, I'm gonna play. No, come my on. My Nona's classic recipe and okay. cast an Underworld cookbook. I have no idea Get what your you're plate, playing, please. Carl. <laughs> yeah. What, what could who you else plays this card? <laughs> um, all right. I will pass the turn over to you. All right. Untap. I'll draw a card. Sure. Yes. Up to you. <laughs> yeah, maybe this card gave away it's what I'm tell. playing. It's a tell. <laughs> it's a tell. Um, I'll, I'll give you another tell. Uh, I'll play an Amulet of Vigor. The, there's there's two words in the name of your deck. <laughs> I've seen both of them on two pieces of paper. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's that's a, your turn. That's a good one. I'm going to untap. Drop turn. I'm going to play the good one. The good one. The good one. It's the good one. I lost <laughs> to that one very hard last week, Carl. Very hard last week, yeah. Well, now we assume both of us are playing it, uh, given your deck. I think, I think, if I follow in the modern meta game properly. I'm also going to discard a card to create a food. Oh, wow. All right. Food? Yeah. And... I have a feeling what's coming. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the hardest thing I'll ever have to tell you. Because I'll pay one black and play Asmogano Maldekidai Finikudaka. Sure. I will also cast a Pithing Needle and name. I don't think there are a lot of targets for Pithing Needle in his deck, mainly the Haste Lands. 
So it's Hanwer Battlement or the other one? I don't know the name of the other ones. We'll just name Hanwer Battlement and hope that's the one he has in his deck. Hanwer Battlement. Sure. Um, I also have to fetch a Underworld Cookbook. Another one. Dude. Because <laughs> how much are you gonna cook? <laughs> so much. Well, look at this pie. Yeah, it's some, <laughs> it's very <huge>. upset. <laughs> um, and it's your turn. All right. Um, I'll untap. I will take my draw. So it's only turn two. I get to play a second amulet, and I get to play and explore along with it. If everything goes right, I get to play Titan next turn. I will tap my forest to cast a second amulet of vigor. So many amulets of vigor. So many amulets of vigor. So I will then play a tap breeding pool. Because it's tapped, both of these amulets trigger. And since both of them resolve one after the other, I get to untap the breeding pool twice, one after the other time. So after I'm tapping it the first time, I'll tap it again to produce green before the second trigger resolves. And then the second trigger resolves, it gets untapped again, and I can tap it for another green mana. That's such a complicated way to give yourself three mana. But I, I managed to do so. Two yes. car uh, three cards, two of them artifacts to give me two mana, and I will cast Explore. Okay. All right, uh, I'll draw my card off the Explore. So you get another land. I get another land. And two triggers. Well, not necessarily. Only if that land enters the battlefield tap. Yeah, that's true. Which it does not. <laughs> How unfortunate that I control oh, a no. forest. If I had not controlled a forest, this one would have entered tap and netted <laughs> you would have more mana. More mana, yeah. Uh, but as it stands, that's my turn. And uh, go ahead. Okay. I will untap. Put a counter on this. Amulet sure. means he's probably playing Titan next turn, but that's okay. I can make a food with Asmaranda Mardekadais Tinekuldekar and then feed it to the Titan, which seems nice, but it's really awful food and it deals with damage. I will play a Polluted Delta. Sure. I will get it at you for three. Okay. And I will pass it to everybody. All right, I will untap and I will take my draw. So my draws have really been treating me well. This Summoner's Pact is basically a backup Titan for when the first one dies, but for now I get to play the first one, fetch a Saga and a Bounce Land, and then fetch a second one. Tap these for two mana. That's a start. I'll play Talaria West. This one, once again, untaps twice. All right. So I'll tap it for two blue mana. So you currently have four floating mana. Exactly. I'll use four mana to tap Castle Garenbrook to create yes. six mana. Yes, that I'll, you can only play for creatures. Yeah, but I'll play a creature, so it's fine. Oh, and it's a very good creature. That's a very good creature. It's a primeval titan. I will, it enters the battlefield? Yes, it does. Does the trigger at all? I would like to respond to the trigger. Sure. I'm going to tap the Underworld Cookbook to discard an Oval Chase Daredevil. Wow, that's crazy. Which I know it's a combo, actually, because this makes a food into the battlefield. Now, Whenever an artifact, which this food is, enters a battlefield under my control, I get to bring back Oval Chase Daredevil to my hand. Sure. And uh, I'm going to use my Asmorando Mar de Cadestine de Sacrificing two food. Yeah. I baked you a pie, and it's awful, uh, because I'm going to feed it to Primeval Titan here. It deals six damage to itself. Sure. So then that trigger resolves. Yes. I will search up a... Simic Growth Chamber and an Urza Saga. Those will both untap twice. So I untap this one twice, generating four mana. That's very powerful. And then this one generates two mana, so I have six mana. Yes. And then the trigger of the Simic Growth Chamber resolves, so I have to bounce one land to my hand. All right. I'll, I'll conveniently choose this Talaria oh. West. That Which one's is, good in your hand. Uh, yeah, it is very cool good. Cool deck, bro. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and afterwards, I have, still have that six mana, so I'll cast a Summoner's Pack. Okay. Which costs zero mana. You still have six. Uh, so I still have six. Conveniently six for another Primeval Titan. It's like your deck is really well made. It is like my deck is built really well, which I will cast uh, to get out. So that 3-3, three, three, of which I will not pronounce the name, is just killing Titans left and right, and I'm kind of running out of threats, so I kind of feel like I need to get Valakut to get rid of Carl's creatures. Also, Valakut can just win me the game later on. Two copies of Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. Yes. Those enter the battlefield tapped, however, they do want tap. <laughs> yeah, however, we do have two amulets of vigor. Uh, so I do have a total of four 
colorless mana or uh, red mana available yes. to me, but I'll just leave them on tap. Okay. Um, and that's the turn. End of turn. I will fetch my polluted delta. Oh look, it's my favorite card, island. An island. And I'll pay three to make a construct. All right, that's a three three. That is currently a three three. I'll untap. Sure. Draw. This triggers. Yeah. I will pay three to create another construct. To create another construct. That's a four four. <laughs> another four fours. Uh, this will die. Sure. I can see myself getting the Shadow Spear here to have lifelink to be able to put myself further out of range, but I think the Spell Bomb is a little more secure. He can't give his creatures haste, and I can just bounce whatever blocker he has. Let's shut the door on the game. Okay, I will go get a other Spell Bomb. Okay. From the Urza Saga. Then I will play another Saga. Crazy. I know, they keep coming. And I will use it. So many artifacts. To cast a Underworld Cookbook. All right. I'm going to tap the cookbook to put an Oval Chase Daredevil into play. So that basically generates, just generates that a generates food. food. It comes back. I will tap the cookbook, the second cookbook, to put the uh, Oval Chase back into the graveyard. The food comes into play, it comes back to my hand. Sure. This deck is also well crafted. And I'm going to feed the not so tasty pie to the Primeval Titan. All right, it's dead. I will swim for nine. All right, I'll go down to eight. Pass the turn. All right, I will untap. In my upkeep, I will have to pay four for a summoner's pack. Okay. They aren't cheap. They don't come cheap. So at this point, I figured Carl is dead if I draw an additional bounce land or something that lets me play an additional land. So I'll go into my draw step. Hope it's good. I hope so too. All right, uh, in my draw step, the saga ticks up. Yep. Up to two. Up to two. I will float uh, one green, two blue, and one colorless. Okay. To discard Talaria West. So you currently have one green? One green floating, exactly. I'll get myself a Simic Growth Chamber. All right. I will play said Simic Growth Chamber. All the mana. All the mana. It nets me four mana, and then I have to return a land. Yep. So I've played one land so far. I, I don't... <laughs> I've played my land from the turn. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, are you planning on playing more? So I'll return it. I have four mana floating. Mm -hmm. I'll spend three of those to cast a Dryad of the Ocean Ah, uh, there it is. So now all of my lands are uh, mountains. All types, yeah. As well as I may play an additional land. So I will play an additional land. Ooh. Um, to play the Simic Grove Chamber. Uh huh. It is a mountain, so I get to I get two Valakut triggers. Yep. I'll pump both of those at you. Oh, at me? At, at you. Oh, not even. As, okay. Not not even anything. I'm else. at thirteen. Thirteen. So now this taps and untaps twice again, so I get four more mana. So I'm oh, because you just replayed it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So now I'm at five total mana in my mana pool. Good line. I'll return this. Um, I will play another Dryad. So now I have oh, two. Oh my god. Now I have two mana in my mana pool. All right. And I may play an additional land. How crazy is that, Carl? <laughs> I'll, they I'll, stack up. I'll redo this. <laughs> yep. Once again, generating four mana. So now I have six mana in my mana pool. You also get two triggers. Two Valica triggers, both at you. Oof, so my you, life total is precarious right now. Yeah, you're down uh, to seven. Yep. Um, I'll return this growth chamber. You don't have another one. I have Azusa. So I will play this semi growth chamber two more times and deal 12 more damage to you. And you have no more cards in hand. That's, I don't that's... have any more cards in hand, that's it. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank that you. was actually <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, game two. Game two. I thought I had this one. At this point in time, we want to thank our sponsor Karma Troll for borrowing us all the cards to play with. They are a huge power seller on card market and they've been with the platform for basically forever. And they ship within three days if you're in Central Europe or Germany. So even sometimes when we're playing our games, they message us in a hurry because we have to bring back the cards they lent to us so that they can send them as soon as possible. So you save money and time if you just look up Karma Crow and Card Market and buy your cards all from there. Yeah, their stock and their shipping times are like their main priority. So once again, thank you for borrowing the cards. On the play, I think I want to get rid of a lot of the removal that is just kind of slow. Uh, Fatal Push doesn't get rid of his Titan. 
pins to get rid of the smaller ones, but I need a fish line. I don't have a lot of those in my deck. Bone Slender is sorcery speed, which is not really what I want to do here. And I'm taking out my Metallic Rebuke because he usually has three mana just sitting around, but I'm bringing in Ashiok. No more fetching in his deck. On the play, I'm comfortable bringing in Thought Seizes to try to take apart his hand and shut the door faster. And of course, I'm bringing in Nethergust because it's a counter spell and a removal spell. Against him, it's what I want to be doing. Okay, so last week, I kind of forgot that Urza Saga is also an enchantment. This week, I'm not going to forget that. So I bring in all my artifact and enchantment hate. In addition to that, Pithing Needle can shut down the 3-3, of which the name I'm not going to pronounce once again, or it can straight up shut down the Underworld Cookbook. Also, Bajuka Bog instead of Radiant Fountain, just to exile the graveyard in case Carl wants to do anything weird with Emery. I'm taking out two Azuzas at this point just because I feel like the creatures are kind of vulnerable. Also, one Explorer because that's kind of whatever. If you consider yourself an expert on Amulet Titan, definitely let me know how you would have sideboarded in the comments below because I haven't played too much with this specific deck. Game two. Game two! I got Trance game one, but the line was so exciting that I'm not even mad. <laughs> um, this hand is awesome. It's turn one as Marandoma Dekadaisi Nikulika into Urza. It's easy keep. I'll keep. You'll keep. Sure, why not? All right, the starting hand is hella slow, but at the same time, I feel like it is kind of resilient to a lot of interaction. So let's hope for the best. First of all, I will cycle a trickery. Okay. Using two life. Yeah, so you're down to 18 already. Down to 18. Do you know what 18 is? Multiple, less than 20? Yeah, less than 20 and a multiple of three. I know, Malakul. I know. Um, hopefully you're gone before Dryad starts doing shenanigans. I'm gonna play uh, Misty Earth Forest and fetch going down to 15, which That's is also a multiple of three. <laughs> um, I'll get a Watery Grave. And since I discarded a card this turn because cycling Street Wraith counts oh, as discarding, come on. I'm gonna play in Morana Maldika Dice and the Car. Come on, that's. Oh yeah, turn one, baby. What is um, this? When it enters the battlefield, I will go get a card called the Underworld Cookbook. All right. Put it into my hand. And play nothing. Um, I'll take my draw. And. I almost have the same explosiveness that you have. Oh, I'll play an Urza Saga. That is explosive. And an amulet. Go. Oh, not even. No, oh, not even right. an amulet. Um, untap, drop a turn. Sure. I'll swing for three. And to remember that Wild Nakatl was banned at some point. <laughs> <laughs> 17. 17, I'm at 15. I will play a bit, uh, Urza oh, Saga. Come on! I never didn't have it. This is so unfair. Then I will cast a Spring Leaf Drum, a cookbook, and a bobble. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. That I mean, it's it's six permanents to one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll untap, upkeep, draw. My Saga moves to two. Um, I guess I'll play another one. Okay, Mono Saga. Mono Saga, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> what did you keep? Well, mate, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine the six permanent on turn two start. <laughs> um, luckily for you, my deck is not fast. Well, I, I would disagree, given that you're about to pump out yeah, like yeah. eight eight tokens. <laughs> I will untap. Sure. Draw for turn. Yeah. This goes to two. How convenient! How <laughs> convenient! You haven't kept a slow hand, so you're gonna try to capitalize on that as soon as possible and just get in there, play out everything. We're not slowing back. Um, I will use it slightly differently. I will tap Asmo to generate oh, one blue. No. Play a Urza Lord High Artificer. Sure. This will come with a construct. How convenient. <laughs> Which is currently a 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Um, and then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will play a Thought Monitor. Yes. Draw two cards. Carl, may I, may I tell you that this 
is insane. <laughs> I have too many cards on the table. Okay, at least my Urza Saga is about to get me an amulet. Back to the relaxed side of things, you know? Mm -hmm. We take things slowly around here. <laughs> um, I will untap, upkeep, and I will draw. My Urza Saga moves to three and two respectively. This one gets sacrificed. I'm, I'm taking things slowly. <laughs> You're taking your time. I will get, unexpectedly, an amulet of figure. See the scenic detour is over. I will play a tap Gruel Turf. All right, which, you've got triggers. Yeah, I got triggers. I'll untap it first, mm -hmm. and then I'll tap it for green, red, and then I'll return itself to my hand. Okay. And then I'll play a Dried of the uh, Ilsen Grove. Those are good and spooky. And yeah, good and spooky is what I'm all about. And I will play another land which is a Valakut, which will untap. Yep, you have... No mana available. I mean, I do have one mana available, yeah. I just don't have any in my pool. <laughs> you just choose not to use it. And since we're, we're all about taking it slow, it's your turn. Okay, um, back to the speedier side of things. I will untap, draw for turn. I will, the Urza Saga goes to three. Yeah. Before it triggers, I'm gonna make another construct. Sure. It will die. As you sure. thought, I will get a Shadow Spear. I see your Dryad, and I would like to put myself out of range of Valakut and Dryad. Although I, I think it's it's ways away now. Uh, so, I will fetch with Scalding Tire. Sure. To get an island. Okay. I will... I will tap my island and the Springleaf Drum using Urza to equip the Shadow Spear on this construct. Sure. And I will swing in with both of these. So that makes a total of two, four, six, seven, eight, ten damage? Ten damage. Ten damage. Eight of which is left link. Yes. I'm down to ten and you're up to twenty. Uh, you're down to seven. Yeah, very true. I'm down to seven, you're up to twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, I get to cast the primeval titan. Maybe we can make something happen if that titan resolves. Pass the turn over D. You're leaving up three mana. I I hate that already. Alright. This uh, I'll I'll uh, draw my card. The Urza Saga gets sacrificed. I'll get myself Another amulet of vigor. Oh right, that's a lot of mana. It is a lot of mana, though I don't feel like it's enough mana to fight through counter spells. <laughs> anyways, um, I'll move into my main phase. Okay. Oof. I'll play my first land for the turn. It untaps yes. twice, so I have four mana floating. Okay. I'll return it to my hand. Um, so I have four mana floating. I'll play my second land for the turn. Okay. Um, repeat. So I have eight mana floating. That's so much mana. Eight mana is a lot of mana. Um, I will cast... I'll, I'll add myself a ninth mana. All right. I'll go down to six mana, all of which... Or like some combination of green and red, probably half-half. All so right. So I'm down to six mana, casting another Dryad. Okay. Um, I will play... The Gruel Turf again, mm -hmm. repeat the process, go up to 10 mana. Okay. And then I will try to resolve a Primeval Titan. Going down to 4 mana, 2 of I which... I will tap my cookbook. Sure. To put a Asmorana Madrika Dice to Nikulika into my graveyard. Sure thing. It is the last food she will ever make, they will ever make. And then, I will tap these two artifacts to generate 2 blue with Urza. Sure. And it's not a counter spell, but it just about is. Oh, <laughs> that's rough. Oops. I guess I'm dead. Carl? That yes, is, Janin. That is disgusting. <laughs> this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable, and I concede the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was having so much fun. Uh, game three. Yeah, game three. All right, so I'm changing up my sideboard again. Not necessarily because I think there's a huge difference between play or draw, but just because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. So I bring back in one Azusa because I feel like with Summoner's Pact, having the one-off is very valuable, and I take out the Pithing Needle just because I don't think it really matters this much. It's not what the matchup is about. On the play, we have to be a little bit more reactive. 
So I'm bringing back in the bone shards and I'm bringing back in one metallic rebuke, but I'm taking out the thought seizes because I can't get under him as quickly. I'm gonna go first this time, Carl. <laughs> That's a smart move. It's my first time going first though with the deck. Oh, is it? Like today, today, <laughs> today. Not, not in general. Not in general, oh, that would be so unfortunate. Um, I will keep this hand. This is perfect. Amulet, Explore, Dried, multiple bounce lands, Tolaria West to tutor for a Titan. Mwah. This is, this is such a risk. Such risk, such reward. The... Is the reward high though? The reward is not high enough. The reward is no, not no, high no, enough? No, no, will like this. Good. All right. This is really tough. Uh, this hand has Emery on turn two, if I play the cookbook on turn one, and could really go out quickly. I've got the oval chase that I can create infinite food with, with the cookbook, but it only has one land and I could just be stuck. And this last game really counts. So, well, we have to mulligan it. Oh boy, this hand is... <laughs> uh, what'd you think? This is better. Any hand with Urza's Saga is just a game plan in itself. Let's get rid of the spear, because we can get that back with the Saga, or probably something better, because most of the artifacts in this case, this, this is not a race. I don't need the life link as badly. I will keep this hand and put one card to the bottom. All right, let's go. And you're going first. Uh, I'll play a forest and I'll cast an amulet of vigor and that's your <laughs> turn. Always had it. Never didn't have it. I will draw. Yeah. Not bad. I will take two to cycle our streak with. Are we on our way to turn one, three, three again? Uh, no, we're not. I'm just gonna have to play a... I'm just gonna have to play a fetch land and pass the turn. All right, I'll untap and I will draw. We're gonna keep the bobble in hand for the moment because we have bone splitters. And if he plays a creature, we can bone splitters, discard the oval chase, play the bobble, bring back the oval chase. I'll tap my forest for green. Okay, that's I'll what they're for. Play a gruel turf that yep. untaps and it bounces the forest. Okay. I will tap the gruel turf so I have a total of three mana. And I will play Dried of the Olsen Grove. That's a good one. That's a very good one, actually. And then I will play a tap Simic Growth Chamber. And you get to do that because this allows you to play more land. Exactly. I'll untap, I'll float two and I'll return itself. Okay. Then I will cast an Explore. Ooh. So that I, also allows you to play more lands. It does, so I draw another card. So with a combination of lands I have in hand and in play, I can only cycle explore, but it doesn't actually give me an additional land in play. And I decide to do so because I really want to get something going to find a second amulet or something. Play a... Anwar Battlement. Hug. Haste. Haste. It's good. It's good. Uh, and then it's your turn. I will take one, going to 17. I will get a Watery Grave, okay. tapped. Yeah. So I only take the one. My turn? Your turn. All right. On top, draw for turn. I will play Bone Shards. As an additional cost, I need to discard a card. I will discard Ovaltine Daredevil. That's rude. This will kill, <laughs> very rude. This will kill the Dryad. Sure. Then I will play a Bubble, getting back the Ovaltine Daredevil. Real okay. spike magic over here. And then I will play in Urza's Saga. Of course, you uh, do. Of course. Didn't have the Asmarano Maldikalais Tinikuldikov, but always have the Urza's Saga. Of course you do. And I will pass the turn over to you. All right. Hand doesn't have that much action right now, so we're really leading on the Urza's Saga. We're gonna make two creatures out of it and hopefully go get a cookbook so we can make treasures and pump up the creatures and just put the pressure that way. You're not really coming from anywhere else. I'll enter and I will take my draw. Carl's draw seems kind of slow at this point. I'm almost expecting an Urza. So setting him back a land seems very valuable and I will gladly pay the four mana next turn to do so. All right, uh, I think I've decided on a line of play which involves playing out the forest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very mighty. And then playing, and the turn? playing a Summoner's Pact. Ooh, will uh, you be able to pay for that? Oh yeah, you will. I, I will be able to pay for it, hopefully at least. This Summoner's Pact gets a Foundation Breaker. Oh no! Oh no! And I will hard cast that Foundation Breaker to get rid of that Urza Saga. Does it get rid of enchantments as well? It does get rid of enchantments. 
Oh wow, that's a good that's a good foundation breaker. Um my was this that guy's tot. Oh no, a strip might out a grizzly bear. That's actually very powerful and ruins our plan. Okay. That was rude. Go ahead. My turn? Absolutely. Uh, end of turn. I'm gonna bobble you. Go ahead. Oh, it's good. Deep. It's good. It's actually quite good. It's good. All um, right. I'm excited. On my turn, I'll draw and I'll draw for bubble. Sure. Well, if it was good last time, it's still good. Come on. This and I will tap fair. it to play in other spell bomb. Ugh. Yeah. Do you want to bounce this one? I <laughs> oh, particularly do not. <laughs> you do not. I've seen what it does. All right. Um, and I'll pass the turn over to you. All right. Untap. Tap. <laughs> yep. You'll have to play for that. I'll have to pay for that, and I will take a draw. All right. Ooh, an Urza Saga off the top. Mm -hmm. I'll it play is a good that. one. I'll play that. And then I'll swing for two. Okay. Do you want to bounce it? You can prevent damage. I, I would like not to. All right. Very much. Down to 15. 15. Go. I will untap. This goes to two. Sure. Draw. I will play land. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. All right, I'll untap, upkeep, I will draw, Urza Saga goes to two. Swing with the Foundation Breaker. Worked the first time, uh, down to 13. 13. And? You can easily have access to six minutes. I can have, e uh, that's what you're saying. So should I go for a Titan, Carl? Uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna teach you how to play, I'm not gonna tell you how to play your deck. Oh. All right. Well, in that case, um, I will leave it with another Urza Saga okay. for now. Oh. And then this is going to be a Construct Fest. I'll pass the turn. End of turn. I would like to, speaking of Construct, create a Construct. Sure. Untap, drop. This goes to three. Yeah. Would you like to create another Construct? I think I would. All right. Um, I will create a Construct. Sacrifice this. I'll go get an Underworld Cookbook. Okay. And it's the nice old border ones. Karma Crow not being cheap on us, eh? Yeah, Karma Crow providing us with the premium cards. They got us. They got our back. And since it was good last time, so good it had to be destroyed. Come Let's on. start the race. What is happening? Um, and I would like to declare attacks. Sure. I could play an island here to keep spell bomb up, but I don't think we're dead this turn. And the only way I get out of this is by winning the Urza Saga race. So I'm gonna play the Saga, that way I get a big creature out of it. And next turn when we play Urza, we can definitely keep blue mana up because all our artifacts give us island. I will swing in for, I, why am I bluffing? I'm, I'm just gonna also create a food. Sure. So it's an attack for five. This comes back. Uh, yes, it's an attack for one, two, three, four, five. Yep, down to 15. Pass the turn. End of turn, I will also create one of those um, popular construct tokens. Yep, so popular. So popular, though mine is a measly 2-2. Two, two. It'll get bigger. All right, I'll go into my turn. I will draw. Yep. There's a saga will trigger. I will uh, not create a construct. So this one just gets sacrificed. All right, to get another amulet. To get another amulet. So you lose mana, but not really. Not <laughs> really. amulet gives you more mana. Also, it makes your construct bigger. I told you it would grow. Yeah, it did grow in the end. I will play a tapped Simic Growth Chamber. Trigger, trigger. Trigger, trigger. I'll uh, add four mana to my mana pool. Okay. It will bounce itself. All right, I get to resolve a Titan this turn and potentially give it haste. This turn is very messy and I'm almost certain that there should be lethal somewhere. So I now have two green, two blue. I'll spend uh, two blue and one green to cycle Talaria West. Yes. I'll get myself a Summoner's Pact. Those are good. Those are good. And that Summoner's Pact is gonna get cast to get myself a Primeval Titan. Mm, those are also good. Those are also good. Why is it when there's trouble? It's, also, it's always these three. <laughs> it's always these three. I will tap all my lands to cast the Primeval Titan and not have any mana left. Okay. But... Uh, but I do have the Primeval <laughs> Titan. I, I get some lands. 
This is extremely hard, Carl. This is hard to make decisions. <laughs> Not easy. Well, the, it makes you feel clever. It makes me feel clever. Um, so what is your Vesuva entering the battlefield as? My Vesuva is entering the battlefield as a handware battlement. So both of these untap twice. I will float one red and tap the handware battlements. Yep. To uh, give haste to your prime time. Give haste to my prime time, and then they untap the second time. Mm -hmm. Then I will move to combat. Okay. I'll only attack with prime time. Which is fortunately for you a 6-6 six, six into my 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, that's very um, You get a trigger. I get a trigger. I'll grab myself a Telaria West and a Simic Growth Chamber. Yep. And the, uh, the they untap, but that doesn't do anything for me, unfortunately. Uh, however, I will return the Telaria West to my hand. Uh huh. And then I assume you take six. Yes, I take six. All Down right. to seven. Down to seven. Ah, uh, that hurts. Go ahead. I'll untap. Drop a turn. Sure. This goes to two. Yep. All right, I didn't find lethal this turn, but if you're an Amulet Titan player and you found a line that kills Carl this turn, let me know in the comments because I'm seriously interested in this. This is wild. <laughs> it is wild and I am, I'm positive that I could have been lethal this turn somehow. Someone in the comments. <laughs> somehow there was, there, there was a play. There was a play. Um, I'll play an island. Sure. Use it to cast a Nerza. No, that's the scary one, Carl. That's the scary one. Uh, this will get a construct. Sure. I will then tap up food. Yep. No, I can't do that yet. Um, I will then tap my cookbook to discard an oval chase daredevil, making a food, which brings back the oval chase daredevil. Sure. I will tap a food to generate a blue using Urza to cast a thought monitor. Oh my god. Draw goodness. two cards. This is literally part of greed. You can tap this for blue. It is mana neutral. Draw two cards. This is part <laughs> of greed. <laughs> for those wondering, you can get part of greed on card market right now. Just select Yu-Gi-Oh and buy yourself a part of greed. Um, I kind of. I guess I couldn't have done otherwise. Um, I don't know. I. I'm probably dead here. My only out really is if I get the Asmorando Maldika Dice Tenukulika onto the board, I can maybe kill some blockers, get some food out. But I can't play because I don't have black. So I think my out is to cycle the Street Wraith and hope to get a Spring Leap Drum. Okay, I'm going to help your cause. I'll deal myself two damage. That's so generous. To cycle the Street Wraith. There's a lot on this draw. There's a lot, There's a lot, on, a lot this on this draw. It's a good one. It's a good uh, one. No. I'm, not, I'm not dead yet. No. I'm going to tap a food. That's not a spring loop drum, but it's two draws. To play another thought monitor. Oh. I get two more of those draws. Oh my goodness, no. Draw. Draw. This looked so good, and now Carl has a smile on his face. I think I've got it. I'll no play a uh, Mistress Bubble. No, don't. Another Mistress Bubble. No, don't, Carl. I will tap both Mistress Bubbles to generate two blue. I will Ether Gust. No! <laughs> Carl, you're <laughs> such a <laughs> meanie. Breaker. No, you're such a meanie, Carl. And then I will tap this one for blue. Yeah. And use it to bounce your construct. And. Then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine, ten. I will swing for twenty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's so I rude, Carl. Good game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was insane. What a set of matches, Yaminka! Oh my god, that was so close. Absolutely nuts. I'm so interested if there was a lethal line in that last turn. If there was, I can blame it on myself that I lost. If there wasn't, I can blame it on your lucky draw. <laughs> I was so lucky. I was so lucky. Crazy stuff. But thank you guys last time for commenting and leaving us the decks to play. Do that again. If there's anything you'd like us to play, even if it's jank, just comment in the section below and that's where we're picking our decks for next time. Also, if you really liked it, I don't want to do this again, but please sub. We count on the subs to know if you can do more of these every week. I mean, with that being said, see you next week! See you next week! <laughs>